Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Scorpio for the month of January 2021. These are your messages from the universe. I have four messages here, um, of which one or more may resonate. Um, they can be separate messages or they may all connect to a specific area of your life that they wish you to focus upon. I find that more often than not, they're, they're all connecting. Okay, so let's begin. Your first message is grounding. Go deep. Explore your roots. Take the time to ground yourself, they say, in what is really essential. Remember what's important in life and let go of everything else. Let go of the, uh, of the busyness and the frenetic pace of life. Be present in the moment. Release the flurry of worry about the future or the, or the rehashing of the past. This is a time to engage and reflect. It might be worth taking a second look, they say, at something you previously passed over. Things may not always be as they seem. Look deeper into the situations and relationships in your life. Explore your roots. Something that seems closed may in fact be just ready to open. If you go beneath the surface, you may find the hidden gems of truth, light, or abundance. Sometimes the voyage is fraught with activity of so many places to go and things to do that personal energy gets scattered. It's during those times that you need to ground the energy. Grounding can be simply a matter of leaning up against a tree and imagining yourself reaching into the, in, into the roots and up into the branches. This card can also mean you may need to stand up for yourself here. Don't back down. Stand up for perhaps those who cannot protect themselves. So you may have to stand up for others. Believe in yourself. Hold firm to what you know to be true. You're like the ancient oak with its roots deep in the earth. You are noble, valiant, and strong. So now the next message is staying focused. Hold the course. Be clear about where you're going and do not compromise. Follow your dreams. You deserve the best. Um, prioritize your life, they say. Once you decide on a direction, they say not to change your mind. Hold the course. Do not veer from the course. Do what's important and release the rest. Place your intent and passion on one thing rather than scattering it in many directions. And if you can do this, you will be successful, they say. Now, on the path, it's easy to be distracted by people, by events, and even by shiny objects, they say, do not take any side roads, they're warning, okay? Stay the course. Keep going, no matter what emerges in your path that could distract you. It's easy to get lost and forget where you're heading. You may need to recommit yourself to your destination. 
what you focus on is what you create. Okay, so put your attention on what is worthwhile, what is beautiful and inspiring. Ref refrain from focusing on what's not working. Only focus on the direction that you want to go and you will make it happen. And the next card is Joy and Delight. And it's interesting that uh, this follows this card because uh, this is where um, his telescope is pointing, is pointing to uh, Joy and Delight. Okay, so um, they want you to open your heart to joy. You do not need to suffer, to grow. You can grow leaps and bounds through joy. True happiness comes from following the dictates of your soul. So do what gives you joy. Celebrate and have fun. Stop and embrace life, yourself and others. Say yes. Take steps today to expand your joy. You don't need to do it all at once, but you really do need to start doing it. Your purpose in life is to experience joy. Allow joy and ecstasy to, to, to flow through you wildly and freely. Share your love. Happiness spreads to others like wildfire, wildfire and, um, and can help heal the world. Now, Spirit wants you to know that it's not just about reaching your destination or the destination. It is about the joy of the journey. And they say that you must stop periodically to savor the simple pleasures of the voyage. If you don't follow your bliss now, when will you? If you've been waiting until circumstances are different before you experience true happiness, you may have a long wait. It's simple. When you focus on the areas of your life that bring you joy, these area areas will prosper. One of the fastest paths to happiness is through sharing and giving. So give of your heart and follow your bliss. Why? Because joy is your spiritual birthright. And that is where you need to focus. The final message here is rest. Now, this is very, uh, it's, it's arriving, this message, because of some very busy, busy, busy energy. Okay, I can feel it. Uh, it's it's like uh, somebody caught up in the daily grind of things. No time for the pleasures of life. This is a direct summons from spirit to withdraw your attention from the outer world and reconnect with your soul. Your life is is not to be. Um, frittered away in meaningless and unexamined activity. You came here with a purpose and specific soul intentions that are being neglected. Well, right now, they're knocking at your door. Okay, they're knocking at the door of your attention, reminding you that you have commitments to keep. If you don't heed this call 
and begin to self-examine, you may even enter a dark night of the soul, a time where nothing feels meaningful. Listen to spirit and open your heart to its direction. Take a lot of time to be alone, they say, and get in touch with your soul. Allow yourself to be in direct contact with the guiding wisdom of spirit on a daily basis, withdrawing from the world, whether through uh, contemplation, meditation, or even a sabbatical, is the most powerful way to use your time right now. Spirit is guiding you in your quiet moments. And they're saying, you need to make time for yourself. You need to stop periodically and you need to smell the roses along the path. You need to regain focus. These are your messages from Spirit. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to those who have donated to the channel. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.